When I was six years old, I wanted to be Iron Man, but then my dad told me it was impossible. He was just a made up superhero. So I turned to Marvel video games. And the first thing I did was grab my favorite snacks and blow up some bad guys like a boss. But now I'm an adult and I'm eating some chicken. And obviously that dream I had as a kid of becoming a superhero will never be reality. But what if your reality was different? Well, it is in the multiverse with infinite possibilities and universes. The only problem is that I needed an Apple Vision Pro. The future of spatial computing, and quite possibly all computing. It's basically a super advanced VR headset, but it costs $4,000. And there's no way I'm gonna spend that much money on it. Hey, don't judge me. If you had $10 billion, you do the same. Also, this is my car. No, who am I kidding? It was just a $5 Goodwill headset. But I was gonna pretend I could play this game no matter what, and become the superhero my younger self would have wanted to be. Which brings us to the beginning. I spawned somewhere in space for some reason, and that's when I met this guy named The Watcher. His job, watching over all of time, space, and reality. He also knows Anyways, the Watcher told me there were multiversal villains on the loose, dangerous beings capable of destroying entire universes. So I decided to name them Dingus, Bangus, and Bongus. <laughs> I'm just kidding. These are their actual names. And they're going after the Infinity Stones, powerful artifacts that control essential aspects of the universe. He also spoke of a prophecy. Prophecy speaks of the Soul Stone choosing a hero. And out of every single life, every soul in the multiverse, you have been chosen. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. But he knew I couldn't do it alone. So he called his friend Wong, AKA my new best wizard friend. Who's gonna give me the book of avocados. Wait, sorry. The spells of Agamotto. And with these spells, I'd be able to become the hero of the multiverse. What a stupid name. But just like all great superheroes, the Watcher said I would need superpowers. And there's only one person that can train me that quickly. It's Wong. <laughs> I trust this should make us even for that business on the astral plane. Don't you remember? Uh, huh? Anyways, Wong gave me a spell powerful enough to let me hold all six infinity stones. It's no big deal. And then I watched the Watcher give me the soul stone. And Wong opened up a portal and we got straight That's to training. Where are we? <laughs> Wong started teaching me how to conjure more spells and it's kind of embarrassing just seeing myself wave my hands around in my room, but I swear it looks so much cooler when you're actually doing it. Now, defend yourself. Good. You can do better. Again. Impressive. Let's see what else you can do. Then after beating a few of his tests, Wong thought it would be a good idea to give me the power of all of space and time itself. And with all of that power, Wong decided my first task shall be to clean up my mess. Which is absolutely ridiculous. So I basically became a librarian and put all of Wong's books away. Yup, that's me, Mr. Bookkeeper. Impressive. Perhaps there is something to this prophecy. Here, your last spell. The spell of sealing. The spell of what? This spell is devastating and not to be taken lightly. With this, you'll be taking a life and trapping it in the soul stone for eternity. So let's practice on something a little lower stakes. What? It's funny. I'm funny. Bruh. <laughs> we may need that later. Okay, now the spell of sealing. Match what the hand of Agamotto is doing. I know it's thrilling, but magic is not a thing to take lightly. You're going to be faced with a choice. All who use the Infinity Stones are. I remain skeptical of this entire situation, so watch your back. Welcome to the circus. With my training complete, it was time for my first mission. A dangerous being has set their eyes on the Reality Stone. 
and it is up to you to stop them and recover it. Thanos. Father to Gamora and Nebula. In some universes, Thanos collects the Infinity Stones and destroys half of all life. But here, in this new reality, Thanos is not yet the Mad Titan. He is simply a criminal. On behalf of the Nova Corps, we remand the prisoner, Thanos of Titan, and present him for summary judgment. I do not recognize this court. The ah! defendant shall speak only when spoken to. Order in the court. Order in the court. Now, now, Magistrate, there's no need for barbarism. Prince Euros. Here is advocate for my brother Thanos. State the defendant's crimes. Alleged crimes. He attacked Xandar in an attempt to steal the Reality Stone. Well, failed attempt. Your Honor, my brother is deeply remorseful. His sole concern, as is all of ours, is the well-being of Titan. Therefore, we are grateful for the mercy of the court. So I guess that's that. Drinks, anyone? The Talos Thanos are you. Remorseful. What I am is thankful. Thankful that every politicky coward of Titan is here before me. You see, this isn't my trial. It's yours. I will have order! Brother, please. Thanos, stop! No difference. With this, the world is whatever I make of it. Sorry, no time for a meet and greet. We're a literal stone's throw away from this guy killing us all. The reality stone is reformed. Take it. Yeah, I'm not even gonna lie, I started learning this like five minutes ago. For my second mission, I had to retrieve the Power Stone. Earth. A world with no Captain America. And with every country now out for themselves, one discovered a power that could alter the fate of this universe. And at this very moment, Someone is coming to claim it. A power stone. This is a lab, but you... You don't look like scientists. Mm. Give me the stone. You don't sound like scientists. It's not bad, but you face the Red Guardian! Trust me, the Power Stone makes monsters out of men. Must be proud then. No, no one would be. Proud of what's being created here. Then get out of my way. You're the red skull. You even got a face. Well, uh, no. You have skull for face. <laughs> oh no! The reactor. Now the whole place go kaboom! <laughs> Oh! 
Finally! Back up! Find something to stop that machine! Where is your super suit? Oh, I don't got one of those. I just became a superhero like two minutes ago. <laughs> Can't be. How? Oh, the security system! Sidekick, please help! Do something about those torrents! Hurry, seal him away before he escapes. Excellent. One stone remains. Believe it or not, but this, this is the second reactor that's almost blown up under my watch. Wait! Come back! Where are you taking the stone? I have idea. We should start super team! Don't worry, we'll start a super team next time. The time stone has been stolen. I have a hunch where the time stone is headed. <laughs> Him. First, he tried to trade me for it. Then, he begged me for it. And now this? Thievery? Under the cover of night like a coward? Ah, here he is. The Collector. Are you sure I can't convince you to stay? I always have more work for someone with your skill set. And... Shall we say, flexible morality. Stop stalling. I could just take what's mine, but I don't want your blood all over my boots. I trust you had no issue securing the stone. We both know that you don't trust anybody. But no, the wizard didn't even notice. Speaking of trust. Yes, yes, but of course, our deal. That is the biggest rat I've ever seen. Oh, wait, never mind. That's a dog. Finn! She's the one who stole it. Couldn't find a smaller cage? As promised, one eye of Agamotto. <laughs> Enchanting. That's it. Let's get in there. Return the... Duh, you've landed us too far away. Yeah, I didn't even know how to make portals, so technically, this is not my fault. Well, I suppose now will be a good time for your next lesson. Portals. This spell creates small gap in space-time. Look for the portal symbol. Raise your hand in front of you to activate the spell. Now move your hands, like this. And... Alakazam! That's not part of the spell. It's just for flair. Anyway, now you try. Two options. Return the stone willingly, or my apprentice here will take it off your corpse. Oh, what an angry little man. It's the wizard. Wizard? I didn't train for a year in the Nightmare Dimension just to be called Wizard. I am Sorcerer Supreme. So sorry, Mr. Supreme. But Helen and I have entered into a sacred covenant called No Baxies. Bro, do you really say No Baxies? Allow my associates to escort you out. All of you. <laughs> Tavon, we had a deal! <laughs>
this may alter the fate of this universe. The very thing you were meant to stop. Please. She's dying. Of your actions. Wong, what good is power if we can't even save the ones we hold dearest? Watcher, what is the meaning of this? The Watcher I know would never advocate for such interference, which can only mean one thing you are not the Watcher. <laughs> There's no need to be so. Dramatic. Wanda Maximoff, you're causing grave damage to the multiverse. Why? Damage. The multiverse is already broken. With these, I can build a better one. A perfect one. Haven't you ever dreamed of a second chance? We all have, Wanda. But you are the only one destroying and deceiving. Why? I needed Infinity Stones. But the Witch is always being watched. Yes, the hero of the multiverse thing was a lie, but it worked. You wanted to play the hero so badly. You brought the stones right to me. Even at the expense of your universe. So, from a certain point of view, you were the biggest multiversal threat of all. You're making this so complicated. I can see there's a thing going on here, so we'll leave you just for a while. I promise. Welcome to the world inside the Soul Stone. My name is Vision, and I see you've already met my wife, Wanda. This is the place where every being you sealed is confined, but I hope that here you may find another perspective. Hold your gaze upon the landmark. Fenris was my only friend in that big, dingy palace. My father didn't care. He wanted a warrior, not a daughter. Odin banished Fenris. But if dear old dad thought that I would fall in line, well, he was wrong. I snuck out at first light, vowing never to return. I spent eons scouring the Nine Realms until I found Fenris. She'd been captured by the Collector. So we struck a deal. Is that beneath me? Yes. Did I enjoy embarrassing your high-strung wizard friend? Also, yes. Look, the point is... Fenris is family, and there's nothing I won't do to keep her safe. Now, gaze at another landmark. My homeworld, Titan, was dying. Too many mouths. I saw no other choice than to use the Reality Stone. And if the Council would not allow it, then I had to take it. They called me mad. But true madness would have been to see all this death and do nothing. I 
needed the stone, not to end life, but to save it. Without it, my planet has no future. Only one landmark remains. In my world, Hydra's forces grew more and more powerful. We were short on time and low on options. The Allies rushed to create something. But there was an accident. They had an image of their ideal super soldier. I wasn't it. When I learned of the Russian Power Stone experiments, I had to act. I never expected to find my friend Bucky frozen after all these years. I can't leave things as they are. I have to get back somehow. I see now the pattern that binds us. Our devotions have twisted into obsession. Something I understand all too well. Wanda and I were happy at first. But then the Mind Stone began to die, taking me with it. No matter what we tried, there was no cure. My death was a constant, an absolute point. And so Wanda looked beyond our universe and into the multiverse itself. I watched this obsession take hold, knowing where it would lead, to pain and suffering. And yet, I did not stop her. In the end, she saw only one choice, the Infinity Stones. To that end, she disguised herself and used your perception of these so-called villains against you. Seems to me she's just trying to save you. Wanda will use the stones to build a new multiverse on top of the ashes of the old, destroying countless lives in the process, even if she does not see it that way. Okay, not so ideal when you put it like that. Sorry to skip the pleasantries, but we need a way out. The search for a way out of the Soul Stone has proven... Impossible? Master Wong. Yes, the situation is quite challenging. Not for the Wizard Supreme. Ugh. Regardless, I was suspicious when the Watcher was acting unusual. So I had our hero here prepare an escape. This. Now I will need you to get us out of here and save the multiverse. I'll need all of you. We all know what must be done, if Wanda won't see a reason. Worst case, we all die, and my ghost haunts your ghosts. Let's get started. Match what the Hand of Agamotto is doing. Good. Keep going. working. You did it. Now let's finish this. Wanda, what have you done? Did you know that mosquitoes serve no real purpose? And in my new multiverse, gone. No more. Wanda, this is selfish. You need to let go. No. Together, we can set the multiverse right. We can find another way. Wanda, please. Well, we tried.
been more than patient with you children. But I have my limits. Uh, 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 uh. None of that. You know, I've seen the suffering in your world. You should want a new one. You think you can stop me? Fine. Let's settle this. seen anything like it you fractured her power across the multiverse i was doing this for you and i'm doing this for us there's no this is how it has to be you'll need this for what comes next my friend Fizz, you'll die but i believe there is a place where my soul can live on you wish to return to the Soul Star. You want to go back there? To an endless yellow eternity of nothingness? No one truly knows how Soul World works. The ancients believed it could be whatever you make of it. You'll still be alone. No. He won't. Would you do us the honor? We're ready. I'm sorry, Vision, for what I've done. My love of broken heart casts a spell even more powerful than the Scarlet Witch. Ah, finally, the real Watcher. You fought as valiantly as any hero I've ever seen. But this story isn't over. These events have left the multiverse at an absolute point. I cannot intervene, but you can. You must make a choice. One that could branch out into infinite realities. Not only for yourself, but for the others as well. Defy destiny and use the power of the Infinity Stones to intervene in your own fate and that of your allies, altering reality. But even I cannot foresee the consequences of such an act. Or destroy the stones, resist their temptation, and allow the multiverse to continue its natural course. You must decide. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. We're with you to the end. Whatever you choose. But Fenris needs to be walked. I know you'll choose wisely, hero of the multiverse. Set your eyes upon your choice and snap your fingers. Thanos returned to his universe without the Reality Stone. For the first time, he faced a challenge that could not be solved with power. However, this Thanos was never destined to become a warrior. Instead, he became a leader. Steve Rogers returned to face a world still at war, but this time, he won't have to face it alone. These three super soldiers banded together to form a secret league of heroes owned by no nation with the greatest team name of all time. Try Musketeers! Yeah, that's the one. As for Hela, Fenris' death taught her how to value life and how to say goodbye. But Hela would not be alone for long. 
she became known far and wide as the goddess of life. Long live the queen. And with that, the story comes to a close. I made my choice and there was nothing I could do to change it. But things seem to turn out pretty well. 